Hey what's going on YouTube, it's Dr. Chipotle here and today I'm going to be showing you the 5zig mod for Minecraft and if you don't know what that is, what it is is just a PvP mod for Minecraft, like better PvP, except it's better than better PvP in my opinion. And um, so yeah, let's just jump straight into this. First what you want to do is open up optifine.net slash downloads, download the latest version of Optifine. You're going to wait for AdFly to do its thing and then skip the ad. Once it's done, the five seconds are up, then click this link right here and it's going to start downloading as you can see right there. Once it's done downloading, you could just drag this down onto your desktop. Now that it's down onto the desktop, you could exit out of Optifine and then go to 5zig.ue slash downloads. So if you're downloading it from another website besides from this, then don't because this is the official website. So once you're at here, you're going to download the latest one for your version. So just hit, just click the link and it'll instantly start downloading. It should take a couple seconds. For me, it was just instant. Then just drag this down onto your desktop as well. And also sometimes the 5zig mod uh, website is down sometimes. So if it is down and you cannot connect, I'll leave a description down below on Mediafire where you can just download it from there. Because sometimes the website goes down. <coughs> So now that you have both of the two files, you can just double click on the jar file for the 5zig, click install, then click yes when it asks do you want to install the 5zig mod with another mod. And then click the Optifine mod and then hit open and it'll install those two mods together. And then the, it should say the file mod has been successfully installed and you're good to go. You could delete these two files and boot up Minecraft. And it should already have the profile set up for you and everything. You, you just, once you boot up Minecraft, just click play and you're good to go. So this is what the 5zig mod looks like when you boot up Minecraft. Up on the left hand side, it'll have your armor HUD. Then directly below that, it'll have the potion effects. And above it, it shows the direction, biome, and FPS, and other miscellaneous stuff that you want to show. So first, we're going to show you what the armor HUD and potion effects look like. So this, this is what the potion effects look like. Whoops, I guess you could see the uh, armor too. As you could see, once there's d um, dark green means you have a lot, plenty of time left. Light green means you have an average amount of time, then it goes to yellow, then to um, red I think, and then to dark red, to basically color coordinating it, which I think is really um, a good idea. As you could see, on the left hand side, my iron chest plate is damaged. Um, more than more than a little bit I guess because it's light green so once we take this guy out as you can see it will start going down let's go in here and then um as you can see hopefully you could go down and see speed 2 it goes to yellow to light red then to dark red showing that you're that you're out of time which I think is very helpful on when you're on PvP servers fighting someone and you have potion effects like gapples and you need to um, eat a gapple to know when your regeneration stops. And so as you can see our helmet is in the light green. I think everything's in the light green so that's pretty um, useful. I like that. And it also shows the durability of every um, tool in the game. And um, it shows if it's enchanted or not. As you could see, my helmet and my chest plate are enchanted, and my uh, leggings and boots are not. Also, with my sword, it shows my sword is enchanted and my bow. But the one thing for the bow is that it doesn't tell you how many arrows you have left. As you can see, I have 62 arrows. It doesn't tell you how many arrows you have left, which I think that kind of sucks. It should have like a little number. It should have a number right here inside the picture telling you how many arrows it has left or right next to it so that I think that's kind of um, a downer a downside to the mod as you can see it tells you how many for food like that it should tell you how many arrows you have just like the food so let's get into the customization if you want to customize it just go into options 5 zig mod and it should have everything right here the mod scale, I keep it at 100, but if you want it super huge, set it up all the way. But if you want it super small, set it down. It's fully customizable, but I'm going to keep it at 100. Then show mod, you could 
if you want it shown or not then turn it on or off then auto report crashes keep that on show hide options this is what you want shown up in the top left like FPS the um, direction in the biome so let's just go through them um, show servers I don't want the server stats on so I'm gonna keep that off I don't want the time um, saturation what does that look like Whoa, what is that? I've never seen that before. Oh, that's kind of weird. But I'm going to turn that off because that looks pretty weird. Turn saturation off. Um, colored armor durability on. Show more chat symbols on. That doesn't really matter. Show potion durability. If you guys want to copy it, you could go ahead. I'm going to move through it slowly so you guys could copy my... So there you go, you can keep ping on for servers, tells you to ping the biome, uh, tells you the last server on the in the menu when you boot up Minecraft, it has a whole bunch of stuff, and um, display options, you could change the color I'm pretty sure somewhere, but um, customize display, you could drag this around to wherever you want, I keep everything in my top left because that's where I think the best is, the best um, position for everything is. But if you want, you can change it to anywhere you want. And um, auto updating, keep that on because it'll automatically update it when a new version comes out. Cape settings, that's for if you have a cape or something, I don't know. And reset configuration, I don't want to click that. But it has a chat for the mod, as you can see in the top right, it shows your profile. And um, yeah, this mod is pretty great. I'm going to show you, I'm going to jump into a server and show you what it looks like. Okay, so we're here on Cosmic PvP on the Forgotten Planet. I'm just going to jump down here and show what it looks like. I'm, I'm in the starter kit, so I'm not su expecting to survive. So let's just go and show you what it looks like. Let's go get this guy. Whoa, lag. Uh, I'm dead, I'm dead. And... Yep, I'm dead. Okay, I wasn't expecting to live because I only had starter gear on, but as you can see in the top left, it shows the FPS, you're peeing the biome and direction if you wanted to set that, so yeah. And this is what it means by um, show the last server, so if the last server you're on, it remembers and you can just click that and it'll automatically rejoin, which I think that's a pretty good idea. So this is it for today, guys. If this video helped you out, please hit that like button and tell me if this video went if this video was helpful leave it a comment down below telling me how you you went how it went and if you guys have any questions please leave a comment i'll be sure to help you guys but if you want to see more content than me for me then subscribe peace